Let's unbox this, guys. I don't want to waste a lot of your time, but we're going to be doing an 80% 1911 build. I got to find out if we got a coupon code or not, so check the link. Um, I'm not sure yet. Let me figure that out, but let's unbox this and see what's in here. So I don't want to waste any more time. Boom. Here it is, guys. First look. I haven't. I don't even know what all is in the box. I mean, I know there's a 1911 in there and stuff, but yeah, I have no idea. So let's cut this open. Like I said, uh, check the description below. There'll be a coupon code. I don't know what the amount is right now because I haven't sorted all that out yet, but there will be one for you. So let's get the box open. Guys, I've been waiting on this since like December 1st of like last year was when I first started speaking with TJ. Um, and we got it today. So here we go. This has probably been one of the most highly awaited. Ooh, look at this. So this is how your kit will come. Just like, boom, look at that. Well, would you look at that? I'm just playing. Let's get that out and we'll unbox that in a second. All right. This is a TNE gun for me to, uh, I gotta send this one back. So it's not mine to keep, but this is so I can reverse engineer the, uh, the build because I've never done one. So this is one that TJ was cool enough to send to me just so I can look at it and see what we can do but this looks nice all right look at that that is beautiful very nice that is cool i am so excited so i'm guessing we're going to be having a full size uh 1911 let's fill that trigger oh butter all right let's move on got that out of the way this is probably one of the best pieces that you can have. And I already know what this piece is. This is the Matrix Precision Rail Cutter. Now these, these rail cutters here will save you a lot of energy, a lot of time. I've seen tons of videos with people using these on their 1911s. And this is the Matrix, like I said, the Matrix Precision cutting uh, rail cutting jig. This is pretty cool. Let's just get everything out of the box first. Screw that. Let's get this box out of the way. Got a mag there. Boom. Now with this build, guys, I'm gonna be taking my time with it. Um, well, one, I've never even fired a 1911. Um, so that'll be interesting. I, uh, so I definitely, and you know, definitely never built one. So I don't know everything there is to know about 1911s. And I'll be the first one to tell you I'm no expert. So we will definitely, uh, you'll, I'll be learning with you guys. So it comes with instructions on the seat cutter for the barrel. Uh, it comes with, uh, and it comes with instructions for the Matrix Precision de Decking Jig. So let's see what everything looks like here. Don't want to lose that. I'm going to put those in the box. Otherwise it'll get mixed up with everything else. What else we got here? Uh, and then we got the matrix precision rail cutter instructions here as well. So that is really nice. Thank you, TJ, for doing this. And there's also a catalog here with all their different parts and stuff like that. Um, I definitely, I kind of want mine to look like that. That would look sexy. Get some titanium nitride going. Put that in the box, boom. Got some bolts and stuff here. This is probably for the jigs. We'll set that to the side. Looks like a handle, probably goes to the um, one of the jigs. Let's see. So when you buy these kits from 1911 builders, it gives you everything. Uh, I don't, except I don't remember if you get the mags or not. I mean, there's a mag here. I don't know if these go to the test gun or if they actually come with the kit. I do believe I got to buy a set of sights and probably some lapping compound and a file set. So we will see what we need. Now that is the rail cutting jig. And essentially we got to cut the frame, the rails of the frame so the slide will fit. And literally you just mount it in here, get it aligned 
you attach this here and you turn it and it literally runs your frame right through this jig and cuts your rails for you. So that's beautiful. That is amazing. All right, what do we got here? Might be some lap lapping compound, I'm not sure. Got some grease. Okay, what else we got? It's probably the decking jig, I'm assuming. Let's see. So the reason, you know, it's funny was I was never really planning on doing a build for a 1911. What really sparked my interest was last November, I was at my local gun store and they had some of those ATI 1911s for sale. And they were only about $375, $400. And they're not bad, but I was thinking about it and I was looking at them and I didn't really like them the way that they are because I like to customize everything. Uh-oh, don't want to lose that. So I believe this is the decking jig and we will see what all works there. I don't want to lose pieces here. So, and I was kind of thinking about it, right? I was like, oh, I could spend $400 on this, you know, uh, overseas 1911 from Thailand. And then I could have it customized. And if I got it customized the way I wanted it, or maybe this is the decking jig. I don't remember. I got to read the instructions. But I would still be out about, you know, $1,100, $1,200. And I believe these are the bits for the drill press. And I, but anyways, like I was saying, I would still be out about 400 bucks. And now these are knobs. What's this one? Another knob. Cool. So that's your jigs and stuff that come with this kit. So I was like, all right, I'll be out about a thousand dollars. And if you want any kind of 1911 that's worth its weight, you're going to spend around a thousand dollars or more. So, then I got to thinking, well, I like to help out American companies as much as possible. So why not see if I can find an 80% one? And that's when I reached out to 1911 builders and they, they, they replied, we spoke on the phone and uh, they liked the idea of the build series. So here we go. Here's the 80% kit. Awesome. He sent me two frames. That's pretty legit. So here's one frame. Maybe this is a practice one, I'm not sure. Uh, that is nice though. Look at that. Very light, this is the aluminum one. Um, me, when me and TJ spoke, he said, you know, for a first time build, I suggest using the aluminum frames because they're more forgiving, they're easier to cut. And then uh, later, as you get more experience, you can move on to the 416R stainless steel. So what else we got in here? Oh, I see something. Oh, this is sexy. All right, got our drill bits here, but that ain't what I see. Titanium nitrided barrel. Boom shakalaka. I was wondering if he was gonna send this because I sent him a text and I was like, he's, he's now offering titanium nitrided barrels for these. And uh, I was like, hey dude, I don't know um, if you're all about it or not, but I said, I will pay the additional cost if you send me a, a, a titanium nitrated barrel. And uh, he never replied <laughs> to my text. So that's cool, man. Thank you, TJ. Appreciate that. We're going to do some epic stuff with this build. What else we got? We got a recoil spring. Boom. What else? All the internals that we need. Uh, we'll probably have to do some hand fitting, of course. Got a set of grips here. Not too shabby. I might put some aftermarkets on there, like the Aeronox grips or some Strike Industries grips, just because I like to get that thumb groove. And we got our slide here. All right, come out. There we go. Now, of course, I'm gonna uh, probably, you know, it was funny was when I first met TJ at 1911 Builders was when I first met, um, Chris from Loki Tactical. And I don't know if they got anything in store yet, but basically Loki Tactical, I asked them if they wanted to do some magic on this. Uh, last time I checked though, they got so busy that they decided, they were like, oh dude, I don't know if we can do that. So 
we will see what we can get done to this um, as far as Cerakote and maybe some custom milling. So we'll have to see about that. There's the slide. Let's see about this frame. I thought they were sending me a frame with a uh, with a uh, a rail, like a Picatinny rail, but that might not be the case here. I don't see one. Now this one I believe is the stainless steel one. It feels a little bit more heavy and robust than the other one. So probably what we will be doing is we will practice on the aluminum frame in case we jack it up and then we got a backup here just in case. So that is the 80% build kit from 1911 Builders. Um, I'll put a link and a coupon code in the description below. I'm not affiliated with the link, but uh, it just, hey, you know, if you've ever thought about this, go check it out. Um, I know there's a couple other companies that make these kits, but I, I'll put it like this, man. Over these past four months working with TJ, Man, his customer service has been top notch. So this is a kit worth looking into guys and look forward to the series. I don't know how many videos we're gonna be doing because I know that these builds can be quite time intensive. So let's find out what it's gonna take to build one of these guys. So until next time guys, I'm Jonathan with Tactical Toolbox. Welcome to the official Built Not Bought series because this one we really do gotta build.